Well, automatic cars are all the rage in the Indian market at the moment. And uh, what better than a small hatchback in automatic form? Now, the Tata Tiago has won our Best Hatchback Award last year. And combine that with the AMT version means that this car should really be stress-free and hassle-free to drive in the city. So what we're here to find out is that does the extra cost make the Tiago AMT a better car for the city and is it a better investment than the manual version. But we'll of course flip this review around and start talking with the driving bits first and get into the practicality bits later. So let's get started. Well, so here I'm driving the uh, Tata Tiago AMT. Now remember this car comes with a 1.2 litre petrol engine which tells us about 82 odd bhp of power. Well, as soon as you start uh, driving off the Tiago AMT, you will realize that this car's engine is supreme in terms of refinement. It is a very, very refined motor. And uh, it's an engine which really is very smooth and very quiet as well. Now, it does uh, tend to become a little rough when the uh, revs start mounting up, but that's only when you take it out on the highway and are doing speeds in excess of, say, 80 or 90 kph and want quick acceleration. In the city, when you are doing about two or 3,000 RPM, this car's engine really does remain impressively very quiet. Well, the other good point about the Tiago AMT is the fact that the AMT gearbox on the Tiago does not feel like an AMT. It does not feel like an automated manual transmission. It feels like a traditional automatic. And why is that? Well, because uh, Tata Motors seems to have tuned the gearbox really nicely. It does not have the same kind of jerkiness which some other AMT gearboxes display. Yes, there is some jerkiness uh, when you really want to uh, rev this engine and want that quick acceleration maneuver, but that's really occasional. For day-to-day uh, -day city use and driving it sedately around, this gearbox has very quick and very smooth changes. There's uh, hardly any telling that it is an AMT which is uh, under the hood. So in that sense, Tata Motors uh, has done a good job with the tuning of this gearbox. What you'll also like about this car is its brilliant ride comfort. Yes, this car really does offer you one of the better rides. In fact, one of the best rides at this price point. And in the city, the suspension really does soak up those bumps very easily. It really is a very, very comfortable car. And out on the highway, it does uh, display a lot more stability than your ex-girlfriend did. And believe me, I do know a thing or two about unstable girlfriends. So uh, yes, this car really is very stable when it is doing three digit speeds. In fact, it doesn't feel like you're driving a small hatchback. It feels like you are driving a sedan. The stability and the ride comfort at higher speeds is that good. Tata Motors has given the uh, Tiago two options. You get a sport mode as well as a city mode. Now, uh, I would really go out and say that you should choose the sport mode as often as possible. In fact, you should drive this car in sport mode. And why is that? Simply because when you're driving this car in city mode, uh, the engine is a little lazy and a little lethargic to respond to your throttle inputs. But when you're driving it in sport mode, it really does feel very energized and really ready to go and really leap forward. So that's the mode that you should choose uh, to drive this car in all the time and avoid that city mode because it might be better for fuel efficiency marginally, but in terms of uh, driving pleasure, it really isn't that good. Well, you will also enjoy the steering wheel on the Tiago AMT and the reason for that is that it's a steering wheel which is pretty light to use and pretty light to operate, which means that you don't have to use in a lot of your biceps and triceps and it's not a steering wheel which will tire you on uh, those long trips on the highway or even when you're driving for long journeys inside the city but uh, it's a steering wheel which is also pretty accurate it's not the most uh, feel some steering wheel in the business but that's quite okay because uh, you know buyers of hatchbacks are primarily buying these cars for easy and hassle-free motoring rather than for feel so uh, that's something that only motoring journalists scrape about so the steering wheel is pretty good in terms of its overall accuracy. In terms of feedback, well, you uh, can of course choose some other cars which offer you more feedback and a lot more sportiness. But yes, for overall day-to-day -day city use, it's a very good steering wheel. Well, so here I'm inside the cabin of the Tiago AMT and I have to say that the quality of this cabin is absolutely first rate and as good as segment leaders. It is at par with the Hyundai Grand i10. Now, the door bins in the front aren't really large enough to house uh, those big bottles, but that's quite okay because you can always keep those bottles over here in the middle. These uh, bottle holders will accommodate. Well, so apart from utility places and quality, what else is to like about the Tiago's uh, AMT version? Well, the seats are supreme for comfort. In fact, I will stretch out my neck and say that this car has the best 
seats in the business at this price point. Uh, the support for the low back is excellent. The support for the under thighs is very good. And the cushioning as well as the overall uh, support is very generous, even for someone who is slightly on the uh, heavier side like me. So uh, long distance journeys inside this car should be no problem whatsoever. You will come out of this car feeling completely fresh. Well, so if you are someone who enjoys sitting in the back seat, then you will definitely love the rear seat experience on the Tiago because uh, the seats are excellent in terms of the cushioning. The support is phenomenal. The backrest angle is absolutely spot on and there is loads of headroom and generous knee room as well over here for someone uh, who is about 5'10 or 5'11. And as always, I've adjusted my uh, front seat for my height and my uh, driving position. And I've got place below the front seats as well to stretch my legs. Now, it's not a very wide car, so ideally it should be good enough for two. But you can, of course, squeeze in a third occupant. But yes, uh, ideally, great place for two and maybe a small kid over here. And I have to say that uh, this car, again, at this price point and in this segment, offers you the best rear seat for sheer comfort. And uh, if you are someone who does a lot of long distance journeys, then uh, these seats will leave you very fresh and you won't be feeling tired after that long day on the highway. Well, so officially this is a 242 litre uh, boot on the Tiago, which isn't the class best. Remember, even the Quid has a 300 litre boot capacity. But that said, it's a decent boot for those monthly grocery trips to Big Bazaar or Easy Day. Apart from that, for uh, long highway trips, the boot can accommodate about two big uh, suitcases, which is again just about okay, nothing great. But uh, in terms of shape and size, it is quite okay. There is a bit of a sill, so you will have to, of course, use your back when you load it. But as I just said, not the best, just about average. But even though Tata Motors hasn't paid me to say it, I will endorse the Tiago AMT as the best AMT automatic hatchback out there in the Indian market. Yes, it is really very nice and easy to drive and also is very good value. So if you're in the market for a stress-free, hassle-free car to drive, primarily in the city, then definitely go ahead and check out the Tiago AMT. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And also follow us on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates and all things automotive. We'll flash those uh, Facebook and Twitter handles right after this video. It's bye for now and hope to see you soon.